So I've been making this new seat mount for the driver's side floor pan uh, because obviously where Clark did the new floor pan, I'll show you here. We lost the seat mounts, the original seat mounts, besides the two in the front. There's one there and the second one for the front. But where the new floor pan is in the back section, we lost this mount. Well, we didn't really lose it, but uh, initially this is on the other side, the underside of the chassis, and it kind of sticks in this way, so you don't really see that. But uh, for simplicity, I just welded it. I just cut it off the plate that it was on and welded it to the floor there. So that's one. This one we didn't have at all, though. I don't know if we just... When we cut the floor pan out originally, the rusted floor pan, we just chucked that out with the rotten metal. And I didn't really think of cutting it out and saving it, so I put my awesome fab skills to the test and uh, made this little mount here. It does the trick, nothing too fancy, but I tried to make it similar to that one there. Kind of just a cube of some sort. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at today. Um, long story short, I got a nut to weld to this originally, but of course I didn't buy the right thread pitch. I just kind of assumed what the thread pitch was on the bolt, but I was wrong. The bolt is the seat bolts for a 240SX, uh, an S14 anyway. I'm pretty sure it's the same for an S13, but. It's a M10 by 1.25 fine threads. So I went and picked up a new one and this, I confirmed this is the correct one. I threaded it all the way through the bolt. So uh, yeah, we're gonna weld this guy right here like that, tack that up, put the seat back in, remount it, I guess, just to make sure that that's all good. And uh, that will be it. Doesn't look that great, but it's gonna be hidden. So the nut is on there. This is probably still hot. That guy threads in. After a slight scare, seat is in. I don't have them threaded down all the way, but you get the gist. Onto there, front and back. Seat still slides. These are just finger tight pretty much just to make sure that they align in their holes and there's not going to be any issues when finally comes to put this car back together and I don't have to do any modifications. If I have to, I'll just modify the small little brackets that are on the seat rail itself. So not a big deal. On to the next. Okay, I am trying to take the bumper off and the last clips holding it on are these things. And if you know anything about cars, these plastic clips suck usually, but I got one out without a struggle, without stripping it, without having to fight it. So uh, this doesn't even happen on my Mazda speed. It's ridiculous. I guess they made them better in the 90s. I'm really hoping underneath this bumper cover, 
that the uh, the crash bar isn't completely rotten. If it's the same as the rest of the car, it will be. I really don't want to have to add more metal fixing to my list of things. I'm just starting to come to the end of it. And if this bumper cover is rotten, we're gonna be in trouble. This is what we came for. Wow. Wow. So it was undercoated, it was sprayed up from the bottom into the middle section, but a little bit of surface rust here, the paint chipping away. Oh, a little bit of a soft spot there. Not bad though. Let's go. Finally something not rotten on this car. That is insane. If any of you guys watch DJ No Way on YouTube, Jimmy Oaks's buddy, he has an S14 and the rear of his was completely rotted out. Not just the bash bar either, the whole back of the car, I believe. So he had to cut out the whole rear section and get a new one. Thank God I am not dealing with that. This is looking clean. This will clean up nice. Super stoked. The next day. What's going on guys? We're back. Beautiful day. Absolutely lovely day. So the last clip you probably saw was Clark um, tacking up the new rocker. It's pretty much in place. All the top is done. Just got to do the bottom now. I wanted him to get it in place and shape it up just because I trust his skills more than mine because he's an actual welder so that's a huge benefit and uh, he did a great job. Nice and flush to where we made the cut. I'm just gonna finish this up. This is just gonna be a lot of welding and uh, I'm gonna fill in all these gaps and then I'm gonna work on the bottom, trim the bottom probably. That will be it for that side, for this side, um, for now. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I don't know how much of it I'll film because you guys already just saw us um, tacking it up to the car, so it's not very exciting to see. So I'll probably just show you after this, what it looks like once I'm done. So this rocker, I know the lighting's not that great, but this rocker turned out great, easy. Um, in behind it was still in pretty good condition. Not too much that had to be worked on. Follow me to the driver side. Just scrap metal everywhere, essentially, so 
Um, this is where we're at. So this frame rail here was replaced once upon a time. Some new metal. Pretty thick metal too, so I'm not too worried about that stuff. Pretty much that. But they just welded over rusty metal, so that's worthless to me. So we cut that out and I've soaked the inside. You should have seen how much rust was in here originally. Tons and tons of it. I just scraped it all out and vacuumed it up so it's actually half clean now and soaked it in some rust converter. That stuff there. So put a good amount in. Probably going to spray another coat once that cures. And then we're going to just start rebuilding this, uh, this whole section here. You can see a big chunk of the wheel well I cut out right here. That all has to be rebuilt. So I had to cut this off as well. Like this to get access into there to uh, cut out all that garbage so and also that hole there is for the subframe so I need to weld a new nut to that because that broke off when I was removing it uh, removing the subframe that is not this piece but yeah that needs to go there and this is the mess we're in so um, just another project that's gonna take even longer um, Every step I take with this car, I feel like I'm getting ahead and then it's two steps backwards, one step forward, two steps backwards. So um, I can't imagine there's more rust I can find on this. Like everything's been cut out and replaced pretty much now on this car. So um, I'll be stunned if I find any more rust on this. So I've tackled everything, I think. So uh, yeah, that stuff's kind of boring to watch. Uh, I will probably just show the final final product of that and uh, it's going to take me a little while to rebuild all that so show you what it looks like when it's done is I'd like to say 75% done still just got to make a little patch for that corner but the rocker is on there we got to finish welding up this top seam there pretty much done along the bottom on the back side looks pretty good it's nice and even all the way across just gotta chop off the end the long end down here and then also make the end plate that stops the wheel well there. 
but not too bad for my first rocker by myself. I'm gonna finish welding this up now, grind it down, and that will be it. The rockers, get them nice and pretty. Uh, finish seam sealing the underside um, where the rocker attaches to the pinch weld there. Um, yeah, get it all seam sealed up and then put the acid etch primer over that section because I left that bare so that when I did the rockers, I didn't burn through the seam sealer and and uh, have to redo it anyway. So I just left that and then uh, the car will be ready for undercoating pretty much. A couple sections left in the trunk um, underneath and that'll be it. We'll spray this thing underneath and we might not have to crawl under this for a while other than putting it back together. So super stoked on that.